up, Ultimate School? It's Mr. Miller with your Monday morning announcements. Happy post-Halloween. Uh, I hope you guys all had a wonderful time trick-or-treating last night. Um, you guys probably saw some highlights. There's so many highlights from last week that I couldn't even include all of them in the morning message. So welcome, guys. Uh, we just want to say happy pajama post October Halloween day. Uh, fun time. I hope everyone was safe last night trick-or-treating and that today you are not too tired in class, although it is pajama day. So just take a little, I mean, take a little bit uh, laid back today, guys, for uh, this Tuesday, one of two four-day weeks in a row. We have uh, this week, we you guys had Monday off and next week you guys have Friday off for Veterans Day. But we'll get into announcements a little bit later. Uh, to start off, guys, we are going to pause on our character announcements because last week was so crazy we were unable to get a character announcement from a classroom, which is understandable with everything happening Red Red Ribbon Week. But remember what Red Ribbon Week is for. It's for uh, emphasizing a life lived without drugs. So uh, we can remember that this week. So let's then toss it over to Miss Claudia and Miss Megan in the cafeteria for our meal reminder for this week. Hi guys, Miss Claudia and Miss Megan. We're gonna go over the menu for the week. So on Tuesday, we're gonna have a cheese omelet. And for lunch, we're gonna have a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Wednesday, we're gonna have a breakfast sandwich. For lunch, we're gonna have a crispy chicken sandwich. Thursday is going to be bagel and cream cheese. For lunch will be spaghetti and meatballs. Friday is going to be cooked choice as always. And for lunch will be pizza and a special treat. Have a great week. All right, thank you, Ms. Claudia and Ms. Megan. Uh, all right, guys, well, I will tell you that I'll be honest with you. Uh, last week was amazing, and this week we don't have quite as many things happening as we had last week. We have many things happening, but not quite the amount of things happening because it's not Red Ribbon Week. But in these four days, we are gonna pack as much as we can. So I wanna get into our announcements this week. First off, I wanna celebrate two folks. Uh, again, we're gonna put them right here and here probably. Miss Brewer and Miss Kamei, they are our essential piece winners. They will be recognized at tomorrow night's uh, November board meeting of our school board. So just wanna say thank you to Ms. Kamei and Ms. Brewer uh, for all the things they do to make Alta Mesa an amazing place. If you guys see them today, please say congratulations and well done, job well done. Okay guys, uh, you probably received on Friday packets in your classrooms for our cookie dough fundraiser. Hey guys, this is a great way, two, two great things about the cookie dough fundraiser. One is, it's a great Christmas present because we're ordering cookie dough over the next two or three weeks. They're gonna be delivered probably early December and it's a great Christmas present for maybe a parent or parents to give to grandparents or anything like that. So, And then the second great thing about it is it helps our school out. So the more money or the more cookie dough you sell for um, our school, the more money will be raised for Alta Mesa and that will help the classrooms and help you do things like field trips. So um, really would like you guys to participate in the Cookie Dough Fundraiser, but no pressure. So Cookie Dough Fundraiser packets are out and it will be going until November 15th. So we'll be selling until November 15th, which is a Tuesday, Tuesday, November 15th. So today is November 1st. We will be selling for two weeks. All right, guys, um, of course, today is pajama day. So if you are in, so inclined, you are wearing pajamas today. It's a little late if you want to switch up, but you will be wearing pajama day. So if you guys came a couple weeks ago, we had our first movie night here on the grass at Alta Mesa. It was awesome. We watched Hotel Transylvania in preparation for Halloween. Super fun time. We're going to do that again. Not this week, but we're going to do it next week. We're going to do it on Thursday of next week because remember, we don't have school on Friday for Veterans Day. So Thursday of next week, we will have our next movie night on the grass. I do anticipate that it will be a little bit more chilly than it has been in the past. And we're probably going to start either 5.30 or 6 o'clock, but watch out for the flyer. We'll have flyers out to your classroom this week. So what movie will we be watching? You'll have to find out on the flyer. All right, as far as sports and clubs go this week, we have 4-5 soccer happening this week. Practices are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30. Uh, game schedule, uh, you guys will have the game schedules. Fourth and fifth grade boys and girls basketball camp will be happening on Fridays with Mr. Havlina. Uh, and that is 2.30 to 3.30 on Fridays. Media and Yearbook Club, of course, is running and gunning right now, 2.30 to 3.30 uh, on Thursdays. And then we have Garden Club, of course, on Tuesday as well. So guys, it's gonna be an amazing week. It's gonna be a great week. It's gonna be possibly, I don't know, 
it, it's going to be challenging. I'll be. I, I mean, I just got to live up to the rea reality that last week was amazing and fun and all of those things. We had the fall carnival. We had all that fun stuff happening. So many things that I can't even mention. So it's going to be tough to beat last week. But I think if we put in the work, I think if we make those positive choices and we go out, I think we can make this the best week ever. One more announcement, Altamesa, I apologize. Some of you may have been sitting there with bated breath waiting for who were the winners for last week's competition. I apologize for not getting them earlier, but we were literally tallying up until this morning. So, you know, a little drum roll if you want, or not, it's completely up to your teacher. But here are the winners for last week's competitions for Red Ribbon Week. First, in the door decorating competition, the Red Ribbon Door Decorating Competition, we have Mrs. Tuggles class. Thank you, TK class. Great job, door decorating. All right, for our candy count. So this is the class that donated the most amount of candy for our uh, fall carnival, which I will say there was so much candy, we didn't know what to do with all the candy. So for the candy count, we have Mrs. Schmidt's class. Congratulations, Mrs. Schmidt's class. Excellent job. And then finally, for the dress up count percentage. So this is percentage of people dressed up every day in the theme of Red Ribbon Week. We have Miss Murphy's class. Yes, it is a kindergarten sweep of the entire school. Great job, kindergarten. It's okay, guys. We'll have more spirit weeks and things like that coming up. So just remember, don't let kindergarten win everything last time, but great job kindergarten, or next time. Great job kindergarten classes on their three wins. All right guys, let's go make it a great week.